Scared money don't make money. Yeah. You know. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel High Top Sports. Oh, Billy Ballsack is setting up 2024 with a massive recruiting weekend. We had a plenty of these last year. We did follow through with a lot of them. We did pull out a few studs. I'm excited to see who's going to be there this weekend. What can we expect? What can we look forward to? Let's dive right into it. But I can recall a few times in 2023 when Billy had some massive recruiting weekends that I would just get absolutely fired up for. Some of them felt even historic for how many five-star studs were showing up. Fortunately, we didn't pull a lot of those five stars during that time, but it's a new year. I feel fresh. I feel like we're ready to rock and roll. And... We got the kid, five-star stud DJ Lackway leading the way. I feel pretty good about it. We have about nine commits visiting Florida this weekend before we get into that dull period. I like that we're able to talk to them before that happens. The first being DJ Lagway. Look, DJ Lagway, I expect to be there almost every time we have a massive recruiting weekend because he is going to be the guy leading the way. He's going to have his recruiting cap on, probably talk to some coaches a little bit more. He is bought in a thousand percent. We had him on the show. He's ready to rock and roll. And like he said, he promises to have a number one recruiting class. And how do you do that? You go meet everybody that comes to that door and you get in their ears. Next, we have priority linebacker Darius Hayes. This will be his second visit in just two weeks. Massive pull here. Top 50 linebacker for the Florida Gators. We obviously have been thin on the linebacker position with Trail Miller entering into the draft. We did fill in the hole with some transfer portals. But you need to get some big guys out of this recruiting class. I would like to land a few more with the Darius Hayes. But this will be a great start into that linebacker class for 2024. I am absolutely pumped for this one here. The number one running back in the country, Jarrett Gibson. He is from Gainesville. He will be visiting this weekend. Look, Florida, in my opinion, this should be a lock. You've got the number one running back in your backyard. And it looks like Billy is building an absolute powerhouse for running backs to have success. And with DJ Lagwa coming in, with what the offensive line has been able to do last year, what he's putting together this year, it should be a top spot for running backs to land in Gainesville right now if things keep moving in the direction that I think they're moving. So really excited to see this five-star stud. My goodness, if you could you imagine if we were to land Jarrett Gibson, that would be two five-stars off the rip. Quarterback, running back, this class is coming, boys, and I'm pumped for it. Next one's a little bit of a sweet one here. We've got Jordan Pride, wide receiver, who's currently committed to Florida State. Got to be honest here, I'm going to be a little petty. Would love to win this one just for the fact because he is committed to Florida State currently. He has visited Gainesville a few times. He is on flip alert. Why wouldn't you be? You've been visiting a few times. Uh, look, with DJ Lagway, how do you not want to go play for that kid, right? He's going to be dialed in. He is a top 10 quarterback, I believe, in the 2024 class. Really excited for this one here. Again, more from a petty aspect. Just to steal one from FSU would feel really good right now. Next, we have big offensive tackle four-star Blake Frazier. Currently, they have him pinned for Michigan. But look, I think with what we're doing on the offensive line, we have multiple offensive line coaches. I have been preaching this all year, and I will continue to preach it. I'm excited to have him here. I'm excited to have DJ in his ears. He knows where it begins. It begins in the trenches. He has said that multiple times. Excited to have him there. Following that, like I said, I think we need to build a thick linebacker class. We've got Q Birdsong, who will be visiting as well. He is a four-star linebacker. Will be a great addition. Again, we need multiple multiple ones, okay? Not just not just one of them. So he would be a great addition to that team. We haven't. He doesn't have an offer currently, but I would hope to see an offer uh, once he leaves Gainesville this weekend. So expect to see that probably coming out next week. Wrap it up. We've got four-star Lewin. McCoy and four-star Zay uh, Mincy, I believe is how you pronounce. They will be visiting as well, along with a few three-stars. Look, I think what Billy was able to do in the portal, close out 2023, was very strong. 2024 has to get started sooner rather than later. He was behind the eight ball last year. I think we are well above the curve this year, especially with getting DJ Lagway as soon as we did. Really pumped for this weekend. I would love to see some guys commit sooner rather than later for this 2024 class. The sooner the better so we can start stacking on five-star studs. We need a top three class. We really do. We need to finish above Georgia and Bama to really be competitive as soon as possible. Let me know what you guys think, what Billy's been able to do with the recruiting in 2023 and in the transfer portal. And how do you feel about 2024 in this upcoming season? Are you optimistic? Are you pessimistic? Or are you neutral? I want to hear from you. We'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys check us out when we go live every Wednesday at 835. And I'll see you. Peace.